Well, it is Friday and I am in the office. I was not in court today. I was seeing clients in the office in Morristown, New Jersey. I was in Cape May County yesterday representing a client. I was in Hollywoodsville, Pennsylvania the day before, and I was in Doylestown the day before that. So a lot of driving this week, both in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. It is a very, very busy week, as always, at our law firm in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. You know, some blog articles regarding what happened to the former U.S. Marine. He was charged with manslaughter on the subway in New York City, that incident. In addition, put out the article regarding the state trooper and the use of deadly force, which resulted in the death of a young man, unfortunately, in the city of Philadelphia. Both cases will be widely filed at both believe both individuals. Well, the state trooper has not been charged. The, the investigation is ongoing. It seems like um, the, the, the DA's office is going to do a very, very wide investigation and then make a determination whether or not any charges will be brought. If charges are brought in that case, much like the New York City case, even though that does involve a law enforcement officer, it involves the use of self-defense, and it, in both situations, most likely they will be widely watched cases. So the point of the blog article was to talk about and explain the differences between the uh, manslaughter and murder in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. They are both classified as homicide, but obviously manslaughter is much less serious than murder in both jurisdictions. And I highlight that in the article, and I explain the difference, and I explain the concept of self-defense and what the prosecution must establish beyond a reasonable doubt when that defense is asserted at trial. Now, this past week, I was in Cape May arguing a motion in a very, very serious case that occurred in Cape May County last year, unfortunately involved two fatalities, and our client is charged with a very, very serious offense. It was a motion to dismiss the case. I believe it went very well. We haven't received a decision yet, and we hope to receive that in a couple of weeks. With that said, it is Friday. I know people will be driving in and out of New Jersey. People are driving to the shore. It looks like the smoke has lifted for the most part in New Jersey, and a lot of people were suffering from that smoke, me included. Uh, it was floating through Morristown, New Jersey, where I live. And as I drove through Pennsylvania and New Jersey, you could see it in the air, you could smell it. It was kind of odd because we've never really seen that before. Obviously, we've all experienced smoke from fires, but never when the fires are literally a thousand miles away or so, it's my understanding. So uh, it was kind of interesting phenomenon that, that occurred. It seems to have passed now. I know people were wearing masks. I didn't go that far, but obviously people who have health concerns are going to do that. With that said, it is Friday. It is the weekend. I'm going to give my weekend advice, as I always do. We did come out with our weekly update today. which was about over 4,000 of our current and former clients in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, some fantastic articles. Also in the, in the update, we have links to our, to our blog, our podcast, our videos, all the content that our law firm puts out at no cost. You can read in the newsletter and access it through the website. But if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The website, gambolandlaw.com. As always, a tremendous resource for you and your family. All of my books, my blogs, my videos are available there in one convenient format. Weekend advice, if you are stopped for suspicion of DUI in Pennsylvania or DWI in New Jersey, do not refuse the chemical test. It will never help your criminal case. If you are stopped and the officer wants to search the car, do not give consent, but do so in a polite manner. Remember that warrantless searches are permissible in New Jersey. They are not permissible in Pennsylvania. Please need a warrant to search the car. If an officer is asking for permission to search the car, he or she probably doesn't have enough in terms of probable cause to either get a warrant or search the car. But again, if the officer wants to search the car, don't give consent, but do not, do not get in his or her way. Do not put your hands on the officer. Do not argue with the officer. It will never help your criminal case. Do not refuse the chemical test. Again, it will never help your criminal case. Take the test and then have your attorney fight out what happens with regards to the processing of that alleged DUI or DWI in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. One more thing, if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, that is my phone going off, probably a client giving us a call on my cell phone, but have a great weekend and I'll talk to you all very soon.